started crying. What, what happened? Where's Jake? Oh, my God. He knows. It's the right to tell the truth in court. And that's what happened. The judge was ready to give Jake custody, and, and then Liza took the stand, and she finally told the truth. Well, we've all been trying to hide from Jake. Now, that precious child. It's not his. How did Jake take it? I didn't believe it at first. And then Adam showed the test, proving that he's the father. And then the look on his face. It was like somebody died. I'll never forget that. What did the judge say? She said she was going to review the testimony and she adjourned the court and we're all due back tomorrow. Well, whatever happens, Jillian Jake has still got you. He doesn't want me. He doesn't want me after this. He feels I betrayed him, that I lied to him, and I did. It wasn't you, Jillian. This whole mess begins and ends with Adam Chandler. Jake has got to understand that. This is just so unfair, Ryan. Yeah, Colby's with Adam. She's not, she's not a Martin anymore. Neither am I. Come on, Princess. Don't talk crazy. He doesn't want me after this, Ryan. You got to make him understand that your heart was in the right place. In my heart, I wanted Jake and Colby to be together. They belong together. I wanted her to grow up in a normal house filled with love and laughter. I wanted Jake to be her daddy, to help her with her homework, to, to take her to the park. Can you see Adam do those things? Can, can, can you see him taking her to the park, roller skating, teach her how to fly a kite? All he cares about is wrecking lives and making money. Money can't... Money can't tuck you into bed at night, read you a bedtime story. Money can't dry your tears when you're alone at night and, and you're crying yourself to sleep. It's no, it's no way for an innocent child to grow up. All you wanted was... for Colby to live happily ever after, didn't you, Princess? gonna hate me forever nobody could hate you princess what I did was so horrible don't give up on them don't give up on each other he's so angry at me and he's probably gonna stay angry for a while the anger covers up the hurt Give him some time, Princess, because he's going to be able to figure this out on his own. And when he does, he's going to realize that you stood up to Adam Chandler and you risked it, your life for him and for Colby. And then he's going to stop. And he's going to look at you and he's going to fall in love with you again because no man can look at you and not fall in love with you. Sorry, sweetheart. We were so happy, and now Jake's gone. Colby's gone. Here, take a sip. Let's go upstairs, and we'll run you a bath. I can't want to talk. Hey, Ryan. Hi. Brandy? 
No, thanks. No. Just so you know, Edmund, we bumped into each other in the park. She was really upset, so... I appreciate you bringing her home. Well, say goodnight to her for me. Yeah, Brian. You knew, didn't you? About Colby's father. That's why you came to the wedding, and that's why you came here the night before. I just wanted to stop her from making a mistake, Edmund. Prevent her from going through what she's going through right now, but I guess I didn't do a very good job. You did what you could. Wasn't that enough? Maybe you could tell me, Edmund, how do you protect somebody that you love? How do you keep them from getting hurt? Sometimes you can't. Well, take care of her for me, all right?